Alright, so I've been asked how to get fruits fast and what are the best ways. There's so many different ways on how to get fruits. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get them in the worst ways and best ways, but also the easiest ways. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video as I'll be showing you how to get over 10,000 fruits a day from doing nothing. So to start off, we simply have bug runs and making sure to kill your bosses. If we go ahead and kill a beetle, we've already got five blueberries. So just from killing two beetles, I got six blueberries. It also depends on luck, but when you think about it, a rhino beetle spawns every five minutes. So just from bamboo field alone, you could probably get over a hundred blueberries a day. Next, let's go ahead and see what we get from king beetle. Okay, so king beetle doesn't occasionally give fruits, but it can give you red and blue extracts, which can help you craft things such as the coconut canister or other equipment. Next, we have something a lot of people forget about, which I also do, is the blueberry and strawberry dispensers. So just from the one blueberry dispenser, I got 35 blueberries, and this can stack up over time. Although 35 blueberries doesn't really seem that much, you can claim this almost every four hours, and just by collecting these dispensers, it can give you quite a big boost on crafting more extracts. Alright, nighttime just rolled around, and fruits kind of count as moon charms. So obviously, if you want to get moon charms, well, you got to collect these bees. But also, you can get extra rewards from these sparkles, like honey, royal jelly. But you can also get some fruits. This obviously isn't the best method, but for moon charms, it is. But we also have planters. So planters can not only give you nectar and other types of rewards, it obviously gives you fruits for the type of planter you place in the field and also what fields you place planters in. So I know this isn't full grown yet and you should only claim it when it's full grown. Alright, so I only got five whirly gigs from that planter, but if it was full, I would have got a bunch of blueberries from it. Alright, for the noobs, next we obviously have quests. For late game people, obviously this is useless. But quests can give you so many fruits. Just like then, I didn't actually get fruits, but I got some treats a neon berry and a magic bean but talking about magic beans let's go ahead and place one in the strawberry field now it is pretty smart to save your magic beans but if you only need a few extra fruits it can be quite beneficial to use a couple sprouts so let's see how many fruits we get from one sprout all right so just from a normal sprout let's see how many we get make sure you have haste up because if you don't have haste you'll be collecting less strawberries in the field so from that sprout we got 45 strawberries now let's go test how many strawberries we get in the pepper patch I know this is a rare sprout, so it's probably not fair, but you do actually get more strawberries in the pepper patch. All right, so I got 195 strawberries from that, which is pretty good because it was a rare sprout, but obviously that's not a fair test because when you pick up strawberries from a rare sprout, it gives you three instead of one. But even if I divide that by three, it'll leave me with 65 strawberries, which is 20 extra than the strawberry field. Next up, we have memory match, which probably isn't the smartest if you haven't got a lot of honey to spend. But you can occasionally get some nice extra fruits or extracts. Just like then, I got three blue extracts. And you can get a lot of other rewards, which are quite beneficial. And I also got a star jelly, so that's pretty nice. Now, there's probably a few things I missed on how to get extra fruits. But they're just small ways. I want to talk about what I said in the start of the video. How to get more than 10,000 fruits a day. So if you have a look at my channel, I do mention Natural Macro a lot. And a lot of people know what it is. But if you don't, it is a very powerful thing that almost every B-Swarm player uses. So Macaroon is basically an application that automatically runs for you in a field and can do other tasks. Which means you can get a lot of fruits from Macaroon in fields, such as Pine Tree, Pepper Patch, Sunflower Field and Pineapple Patch for all the four different kinds of fruits. And from just macaroon in pine tree alone, I can get over 10,000 blueberries a day, which is why it makes it so easy for me to gift my mythics. So if you wanna learn more about this, click on the link in the description or on the end screen, and you can start your journey macaroon. If I helped you at all in this video, you may as well hit that like and subscribe button as it helps me out a lot. And it also means I can help you guys out more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.